Welcome back to Classic Replay. In this one, I asked Artificial Intelligence, what are the top 10 retro games ever? What happened next? Surprise me. Well, hang on to your warp pipes, because we're about to dive deep into the warp zone of Super Mario 3, the game that took Nintendo's mascot and made him more versatile than a Swiss army knife at a tool convention. Picture this, you fire up the game, and Mario isn't content with just jumping and stomping on Goombas. Oh no, now he's got a raccoon suit that lets him soar through the air like a chubby Italian superman. It's like they ask, what if we give him a tail? Yeah, that makes sense. Now, let's dive back into those other classics. 1984 Tetris is the game equivalent of procrastinating at work. You start playing, and suddenly hours have disappeared, and your boss is wondering why you haven't finished that TPS report. And when those long, straight pieces finally drop perfectly into place, you feel like a Tetris god. Until the blocks start falling faster, and your dreams of a high score crumble. 1980 Pac-Man is like that friend who can't stop eating, but you still love him anyway. Chomping dots, being chased by ghosts, and gobbling up power pellets, Pac-Man made gluttony look fun. And don't get me started on the Waka Waka sound. It's the soundtrack of every 80s arcade. The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past, 1991 Zelda games are like the epic fantasy novels of game. A link to the past set the stage for the franchise's future and introduced us to the hero in green, Link. You know, the guy who never says a word but manages to save the world repeatedly. Must be those expressive eyes. Street Fighter 2, 1991 Street Fighter 2 is basically a virtual bar brawl where you can fire projectiles from your fists and feet. It taught us that if you're in a fight, throw Hadoukens and Shoryukens. Also, if you beat your opponent and they don't insert more coins, it's basically a dominance dance. Mega Man 2, 1988 Mega Man 2 is like a rage-inducing piece of art. Those platforming sections, pure, controller-throwing perfection, and the boss fights. Let's just say that Dr. Wireless Robot Hedgeman aren't going down without a fight. But hey, it's all worth it for that sweet, sweet satisfaction of taking them out. Sonic the Hedgehog, 1991 Sega's answer to Mario was a blue speedster with an attitude. Sonic is like the cocky guy at the party who thinks he's the cleanest. But you couldn't help but love him. Plus, collecting those rings was oddly satisfying, even if they didn't buy you anything. Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, 1997 Castlevania is like a gothic horror film with a whip-wielding hero. Symphony of the Night took the series in a new direction with exploration and RPG elements. And who could forget Alucard? He's like the vampire version of Batman, with fabulous hair. Final Fantasy VII, 1997 R, the game that made kids everywhere cry when Aerith bit the dust. Final Fantasy VII is like a Shakespearean drama set in a steampunk dystopia. It showed us that even in a world of spiky hair and giant swords, emotions run deep. Donkey Kong, 1981 Donkey Kong is like the granddaddy of platformers. Mario, or Jumpman, as he was known then, climbed ladders and dodged barrels to rescue his beloved Pawnee. It's a simple story of love, gorillas, and the hazards of construction sites. So there you have it, a comedic stroll through gaming history with these retro gems. They might be old, but they're still worth firing up for a dose of nostalgia or introducing to a new generation of gamers who will undoubtedly wonder what the heck we were so obsessed with. Ah, the good old days of gaming, where pixels ruled the world. And remember, in the world of retro gaming, Everything old is still gold. So, dust off your cartridges, boot up those consoles, and embrace the pixelated nostalgia. These games aren't just relics, they're the building blocks of a gaming revolution that's still going strong today. <laughs>